This is exactly where the hair got cut. This is where the hair came from. And so I put it in the jewelry, came in clutch. Since I had it right here, I was able to held it down with the jewelry so that I don't lose the spot. I'm gonna take off the jewelry now and I'm gonna show you guys what inside of the root look like. Any dandruff or anything like that inside here? There's something in there, you know? This is so crazy. All right, on the last video, I said that whoever gets the best comment will have a free dreadlock jewelry. All you have to do is pay for the shipment and I will send it to you. And the winner for the dreadlock jewelry is... Welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe. Today is a new day. Today, man, I'm gonna show y'all some disappointing thing that happened in the last video. I know a lot of you guys are mad, disappointed, commenting a lot of different things, and I had to keep my word, you know? And I really thought I could uh, win or beat him, but I didn't. <laughs> the thing that happened is I got tired. Oh, bro, I feel like everybody's tired. You know, I showed up. I showed up with a full suit on, about to hoop on this dude. I'm about to. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, I'm playing too much games because my dress is in line. So I went and get my clothes on, you know, my hoop and stuff on. Uh, even though that's not my hoop and shoes or anything like that, I don't have a hoop and shoes, man. I have a hoop in like two years. When I say two years, like literally playing one on one with somebody, I haven't played in two years. Think about, think about it first of all. Like I'm, I'm from Africa, straight up. I came out here when I was 15, and so I started in high school playing basketball really so I have over maybe four or five six years of really good time of experience of playing basketball learning at an older age you know it's, it's all tough I'm not saying it's impossible but it's tough and so you know my layup is not there oh, come on, man. it's just all like my shooting is oh my goodness it was so terrible but yeah i lost but on this video i'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like inside of my dreadlocks and like i said i was not supposed to lose like last game i'm rematching them i'm working out i'm getting to the back to the gym i'm uh you know exercising my cardio because i was out of breath and i'm gonna play him one-on-one -on -one again and i'm gonna beat him and i'm gonna shave him i'm gonna shave his head <laughs> probably gonna give him a good fate or something but guys yeah this cannot be this cannot be i'm so upset on myself okay it's not just you guys it's not like your hair shouldn't be something you should gamble with first of all but i was so confident in myself sometimes confidence is not really confidence it's cockiness so uh don't be arrogant guys that's the message of the video but i'm sure you guys inside my dreadlocks uh, today we have a sponsor that's sponsoring our video uh, you guys already know who this is this is activers.com so make sure you guys go shop at activers.com we have different jewelries uh packages that we selling and they're selling out like crazy the masks have been sold out and the accessories will be sold out soon but this is a sponsor of our video graduated from ASU and uh, you know I'm very proud of her and I want you guys to go spam congratulations on that video it should be up here somewhere uh, make sure you guys telling her like you know congrats and different things like that because she works so hard and I'm just super proud of her I just wanted to mention that Let's go to that field. Come on. We run into that field right now to get this good sunset. Hello. 
you graduated from ASU with a 4.0 plus GPA. Not just 4.0, but above 4.0. She's really smart. All right, guys, this is my hair right here, man. Completely off my head. All the way back here. This is my hair, guys. I feel so bad. I feel so. Ah! Why did it happen? But yeah, this is my dread right here, guys. Like, look at this, man. This is what my dread look like. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. I'm very upset. I looked at it and it almost doesn't look real. So I started asking myself questions like, is this, is my hair real? Does it look like the wig they be sending you, like the fake stuff? Like, look at how perfectly this, this was cut right here. Can you guys see it right here? The white background, yeah, y'all see it? Like, look, look how perfect that is. Like, that's so crazy. To find out that there is like no dandruff inside there, it was like a, a surprise because I recently used that one chef. Oh, actually there's some dandruff right here. But I, I thought it would be like a whole buildup to be honest with y'all. But you know, I've been washing my hair and stuff, doing things to my hair. But this is what my dreadlocks look like. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Look at this, y'all. I'm trying to see if there is like any dandruff or anything like that inside here. There is something in there, you know? This is so crazy. There's a Congo too. It feels even more betrayed. I'm gonna try to open it and see what's inside here, okay? So you see all the danger basically. There we go. Oof, you see that? That's crazy. I'm gonna show you guys two different dreadlocks right now. Y'all tell me which one looks fake or which one y'all think is a fake one. Pause the video and comment below right now which one y'all think the fake one will be. Pause the video, the one on my left or the one on my right. Comment below right now. Don't go anywhere, pause the video and comment which one y'all think is fake. And the right one is, this one is my hair, this one is the fake dreadlocks but look how similar it looks and this is i think is straight so like i was actually very surprised it's not like exactly the same like of course this is more you know spiky earlier you remember when i pulled it out it was how evenly was cut it just felt just like this like literally this is a straight dreadlock right here and this is what they sell basically mostly and then now they have in hairs so that kind of look like you know 4a 4b 4c um, i might not believe it's 4b uh if not 4a this is what my dreadlock looked like man inside of it and i'll show you actually where it was cut from uh because you know that's where most of these buildups came from so i'm gonna show you now where it was cut from but i just wanted to comb out this side right here to get this a better look of course i should moisturize it but i want to comb it out fully i just want to open it up a little bit yeah there we go Ugh, i see that so yeah this is what my drill drill locks look like inside if somebody cuts their dreadlocks you know this is literally a hair that's crazy this, this grew out of my head like this came out of my head that's just crazy man like it's hard to believe you know like this came out of my head like what what in the world why was it why would it come out of my head i don't know because it's hair duh okay for the part that it was cut from i'm gonna show you guys exactly what part that this dude cut and he went down low i, I didn't think he was gonna go that down like i thought he would have went up a little bit higher but as soon as you know he cut it i uh didn't want to lose the section so i basically held it together i still have like it's like it's not noticeable but at the same time if my hair were to ever like you know get in the water or something i think it's be a big visible and i might end up losing the hairs that's around it and they will end up combining to the other side of the dreadlocks but this is where the hair got cut right here this is exactly where the hair got cut this is where the hair came from and so i put it in the jewelry came in clutch since i had it right here I was able to held it down with the jewelry so that I don't lose the spot. I'm gonna take off the jewelry now and I'm gonna show you guys what inside of the root look like. You guys see how thick this is? Like it's super thick. That's why my dreadlocks is very thick. See how thick it is? Because of the roots, there's a lot of amount of hair, and I believe it's a combination of two Congos, and that's why it was combined. It was combined from the roots. It starts from the roots, and it just works its way up. And this this long has been combined together. It's, it's usually it was a separate draw lock so in the beginning, and then as you guys can see, it was a separate draw lock and then ended up connecting later on together as the journey went. And uh, you know, at the times that I neglected it from like you know three twists and uh, after shower different things like that and so yeah this is this the patch basically 
what my dress look like. I'm gonna put like a rubber band on it so I don't lose it. But this is the inside of it. They told me it didn't look dirty, I can't really see it. But uh, I don't wanna lose the spots, you know, I don't want the hairs to disperse and go all over the place. So I want them to stay just right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a rubber band and uh, a healthy rubber band, I'll say. Just cause I don't wanna leave the metal there. And once you guys get these Geralogs jewelry, by the way, don't sleep with it, don't sweat with it. If you guys doing this, you know, random stuff, activities, just take it off. Before you go to sleep, take it off and then go to sleep and then wear it the next day or whenever it's a special occasion or you gotta take pictures or different things. But don't just rock it while you sweating, you know, don't mix it with sweat and different things. But yeah, right here, we just tie it with the rubber band, just like so. Broke. I'm gonna just go with my other idea again. It's <laughs> switching back up. Just grab with the metal. Just cause I'm not gonna connect it. I might start my new style like this. Having dread like this. Look like a little small ponytail. This is so bad, man. This is bad. This is terrible. Hopefully you don't see it. This comes out so easily, man. Should I combine it with the next one? Eh. I'm gonna just make a whole video to next video uh, combining that dread. Like I'm gonna attempt to combine it. Uh, I think my hair does have a good length to, co to be combined again since you know this one has a pretty good grip to it I just gotta comb out this part right here and then try to combine it basically I don't think it's an impossible task but I just never done something like this before so I'm gonna attempt it on the next video so if you guys haven't uh, subscribed yet subscribe so that the next video comes out uh, you be notification gang all right on the last video I said that whoever gets the best comment will have a free dreadlock jewelry. All you have to do is pay for the shipment and I will send it to you. And the winner for the dreadlock jewelry is Leak Real. Man, congratulations for you on a free dreadlock jewelry. Please hit me up on Instagram and I will give you all the information. All you have to do is pay for the shipment and that's it. The dreadlock jewelry is free for you. Hit me up on my Instagram. Shout out to you, buddy. If you guys want me to do another giveaway, we can do another giveaway. Best comment gets a free dreadlock jewelry. You can pick yeah, six of one or two, or two of each. I have Activist Jewelries, Silver Piece, and Saints Log. So you can get two of each or one of, uh, or one of six. Two of each or one of six. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm going to be attached to this dread on the next video. And I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig? I can't even say I have. It's weird to say I have because a draw lock is not part of me anymore.